the 60th year of Dodger baseball here in Los Angeles. So much history over those six decades, and that history is on display right now at Chavez Ravine. Let's take a tour. Hi everyone, I'm Dodger Steam Historian Mark Langell, and today we're in front of the temporary pop-up museum on the reserve level, right in front of the Jackie Robinson statue. And for now until March the 4th, we have so many things to show you. 60 years of Dodger baseball in Los Angeles, and it's going to be fun to be able to show you everything from 1958, those early days at the Coliseum, right up to the National League Champs of 2017. When you first walk in, you're like, wow, look at all this great stuff. And I think we're going to start over here. And we have Rookies of the Year and Cody Bellinger, our great first baseman, who nobody had heard of early in the year. And suddenly, 39 home runs later, everybody knows him as the National League's Rookie of the Year. We have his Rookie of the Year jersey, but not just Cody. Now, it started in 1947 with Jackie Robinson. But you can see, thanks to the Gary Cypress collection, and so much of this stuff comes from the great Gary Cypress collection, you can see all these great rookies of the year and have these wonderful memories. Maybe it's Fernando Valenzuela, the eight shutouts in 1981. Maybe it's, look at these jerseys, Seeger, our great shortstop from a couple years ago in his great rookie season. Todd Hollinsworth, who was part of five Dodger Rookie of the Years with Eric Karros, Mike Piazza, Raul Mondesi, and Hideo Nomo. And you just look around, there's Steve Howe, Jimmy LaFever, there's Jim Gilliam, Frank Howard, Steve Sachs, Eric Karros, and suddenly you can sort of match him up. Before Ballinger, the only two Dodger first basemen to win the Rookie of the Year award, both came from UCLA and both had played first base, Jackie Robinson and Eric Carroll's. Now it's 60 years in Los Angeles, but there still has to be a tip of the cap to Brooklyn. And right in front, just imagine all those years that the Brooklyn Dodgers were in the World Series and they never won. 1916, 1920, 41, 47, 49, 52, 53, Finally, in 1955, the first and only time they win the World Series. So there's a little bit of Brooklyn here. And then as you follow, you'll be able to see starting in 1959, the Dodgers win their first World Series right off the bat. They finished seventh in 1958. And then 1959, they rebound. And this is from the championship season. So Larry Sherry, one of the local heroes from Fairfax High School, he was a rookie. And he had two saves and two victories in the Dodgers' victory in six games over the Chicago Whites. Sox. So here's the first championship. The Dodgers had waited in Brooklyn so long to win a championship, and LA fans had to wait all of two years to win a championship. The 2017 season, there were so many highlights during the season. And how about reliving the playoffs, about the Diamondbacks, the Arizona, how about the Cubs, the Nationals, everything like that. And so you can see, yes, Game Seven still on your mind in the World Series. I know that. Everybody's going to go through that. But now you know what it was like to be a Brooklyn fan, because that happened all the time. So get over it. Look at all this great stuff. Have all these great memories as far as being in Arizona, the Chicago, and everything that goes with it. And so suddenly, just like 1966, pennant winner, 74, pennant winner, 77, 78. Yes, I know, the Reggie Jackson years, he still broke my heart. But the excitement to be at the World Series, and now suddenly these great players behind me can compare, and they reached a pinnacle, just like the other ball players, as far as that fall classic. And being in the World Series for the first time in 29 years, anybody coming to this museum is going to have their personal favorites, their favorite team, their favorite moment. And that's what makes this so special, because we spend so much time of our lives at Dodger Stadium cheering, booing, whatever, but it's something that we all enjoy doing. This means so many different things to so many different people of ages and backgrounds. I, I really think people are going to have a fun time rolling through it.